You know, there are better ways to seek out our enemies than, well, standing here. Um, uh, ba -da -ba -da <laughs> Here we are. Oh, feels like it's been forever. <laughs> Salutation, darlings. Zorwin here. Haven't you heard? And I'm back. And as I said before, certainly, yeah. Uh, it certainly feels like it's been forever. Okay, everything's all good. Alrighty, Rue. And apparently there's something going on here in Monset. Let's... Oh. Great. <laughs> I did acknowledge its existence. Shadows amidst snowstorms. Cinnabar spindle for a sword. Finally getting a sword for Albatross here. Hmm. Able to restore. I don't know that means corrode a mighty Oh, huh. so it's sort of like a direct contrast to that one um shady looking sword that I gave to this dude. Yeah. Like a counter to the festering desire. That would be a perfect sword for Albatross. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Anywho. Get him on set. Alchemy store. Wait. The store quest. So. As I always and completely needlessly do. I send out the old Because <laughs> why not? Alrighty, short stuff. <laughs> hey, Timmy! Uh, is that Albedo? Why is he leaving? <laughs> and why does he look so serious? Did something happen? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hey! Hello, you two! It's been a long time. No kidding. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Hmm, or something. Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Hmm. Uh, so we just missed him. Maybe we should have hollered to him. Hmm, could have. <laughs> he didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Right. Uh, upset? You mean Albedo? Yes. Is Albatross angry? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh. I wonder if... Hmm? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I wonder if Tamez's research topic is... This is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the bird for the burn from sugar. Good grief. Surely not. <laughs> it's not that boring, is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. Oh? A favor? Well, well, sure. How can I help? You don't even know what she's going to ask. Well, Paimon found a bunch of super-duper sweet sincerias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone. So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. Okay. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Uh... <laughs> huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. <laughs> oh, sugar, what the hell? I mean, what the hell is your area of expertise? Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. <laughs> oh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. You would think. <laughs> and also, yes, I completely agree with you, Tomas. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. I did not know. Besides. Keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. <laughs> if you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Mm. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Okay. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. <laughs> After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't know what has gotten into Pi today. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. What? Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. <laughs> Don't blame yourself for Paimon's outlandishness. I'll be sure to keep her in line in the future. The only thing wrong is you're asking to be able to keep it forever. The closest thing you can get to that is wine, and even then, wine will go bad. I guess the honey will, could last forever. Hmm. I guess if you could figure out how to turn it into honey or something similar. Oh, of course. These are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. Oh my gosh. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. <laughs> Let's. Apparently, we're. This is why we're going to speak to Albatross. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? Oh, no. He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Right? <laughs> but there's something about Albedo today. Something seems different. What could it be? Hey! So we heading to anyway dragonspine unless he specifically says otherwise dragonspine is where he usually goes he seems particularly fond of that place and somehow the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all then let's go to dragonspine to find him come on there's no time to lose snowy past you know I've always... I actually did need to use the... Serious? Oh. Oh, oh. Hold on. <laughs> well. Anyway. Um. Seriously? Albedo doesn't like my alchemy device? <laughs> It can create tiny ice crystals! Huh? <sighs> I thought I had a good design here. I was planning to take it further. Timaeus, it's not completely useless, but perhaps it needs to be a little more original. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, I see. Hmm. Uh, I'll give it some more thought. Hmm. Then again, what is the use of this thing? I'm the one who came up with it, and even I can't think of a potential application. <laughs> So, he made an ice machine. Slushies year-round. Anywho. Yeah, we're heading over to Dragonspine. What I was always wondering about Albatross is... Actually, before we get into that, since I have this team out and about... 
Don't, I, I, I need to fight the stupid fish. <laughs> Just a quick bat with the most chatty boss. Honestly, it's not even that hard of a boss. She just talks so goddamn much. Hmm. Anywho, I keep cutting Please. myself off. And I missed the jump. What I was saying is, I've been wondering, like, this entire time if Albatross, or rather Albedo, as his actual name is, if Albedo is Bio like is far more an assassin from our in the army, rain, yes, yes, or a fool who trespasses upon the waters of Chinsa, <laughs> coveting the shapes of the living, pure water can take on many forms. In this way, shall water deliver your punishment? Dodge this, freeze. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. The power of water is its ability right. to take any shape. <laughs> take this! Without solid ground, terrestrial creatures become simply helpless. This fight is incredibly stupid entirely because she just takes so goddamn long. Hmm. I'm always hoping that I'll get a plus sign. The power of There's a chance. Is its ability to take any shape. I just heard the weirdest sound. Cool it. Dodge this. Freeze. <laughs> Take this. One who is ignorant of water's treasures fails also to comprehend its horrors. Oh no! How right! There we go! Dodge this! Freeze! Let's see what happens when you lose your foothold. Oh no, whatever shall we do? Lisa is so goddamn fragile. <laughs> They're all so fragile. Kai is the only one with above 20,000 health. Bruh. The power of water they are all so goddamn fragile. To take any shape. Try not to enjoy this too much. Cool it. Dodge this. Take this. Freeze. <laughs> as long as rain falls, <laughs> rivers flow. There it is. <laughs> I was stubborn as all hell. I absolutely refuse. Da -da -da. I have a way. I just need to fight this stupid fish one more time. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Let's heal up Lisa. <laughs> Anywho, now that we're now, goodness gracious, I am so scatterbrained. Ah, nothing more than usual. 
Let's go find Albatross. Oh, Amber, we're seeing everybody today. Hmm? This looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look. Hey, Traveler and Paimon. Fancy meeting you all the way out here. <laughs> Fancy meeting you too, Amber. Amber? Cyrus? Pallet? What's everyone doing at Dragon's Vine? Don't you mind the cold? <laughs> Hi, all. Long time no see. Yes, yes, salutations. Oh, the Traveler is joining us too. Oh, great. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Sure, I'd love to join you. What are we doing? <laughs> I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. <laughs> What's the occasion? Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is joined too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurers Guild is holding winter training on Dragonspine. Ah. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Dangerous to go alone. Take a Paimon. So, we made a plan for mm -hmm. senior members to pair up with junior members. Mm -hmm. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. It's, I mean, yeah, I... <laughs> now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Oh, I'm back. Oh my goodness, sorry. I had a cough. Cyrus, it's a wonderful idea. Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. <laughs> uh, Amber, <laughs> what are you doing here? Is the Adventurers Guild short on experienced members? <laughs> well, that's part of it, actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. Uh-oh. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. Hmm. Hmm. I remember that kid, but Joel's father... I know. Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Hmm. I say missing, but I'm very little. <laughs> oh boy. Her kid. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. Right. That's part of the event as well, building snowmen. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, Amber, it's it's for both of you, honestly. Any, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the way. Aw, really? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. She, she, she. I see. I, I, hey, uh, Cyrus, <laughs> we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're going to build a snowman. Oh, I remember this. Yes, and still. I was about to say, can you no longer sit here? No, you can sit here and enjoy what is my personal favorite place in all of Dragon spine. Hey, Joel, we're here. <laughs> Hi, Joel. It's been a long time. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's 
it's nice to have so many people to hang out with. <laughs> hmm. Are you here to build a snowman too? Yes, the spindrift knight. <laughs> build a snowman. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the spindrift knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Uh. Hey. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. Aww. You can call me Joel. Auntie Eula? She, even she's like... <gasps> Friendly child confusion intensifies. Uh oh. <laughs> Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. Alright. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa. Eula just let something go for once? <laughs> Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short handed. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. But look. Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. <laughs> Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Does she take ice baths? I mean, well, no. no. It is, no, I do like the cold. <laughs> I don't think I can handle ice. Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. I approve. Yep, yep. Count Paimon in too. Paimon wants to build a snowman. Hmm. <sighs> so, Eula, do you want to build a snowman? And Eula, are you too busy to join in? <laughs> uh, the innocence of ch children. If so, it's okay. I understand. Oh, you can't turn him down, Aunt Eula. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. <laughs> Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Oh. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. All right. Hey, Joel. See that huge tree over there? Wanna race me there? Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> wow, those two are fast! Mm, sure. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun! <laughs> hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Hmm, I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> There's no one else around. You can say. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. Ah. Uh, he doesn't have the... pointless hate for you. It must be startling. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. Careful, Paimon. True. In his eyes... I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. And, as far as I'm concerned, that it is indeed who you are. It was a surprise, <laughs> but not in a bad way at all. <laughs> so, there's something else bothering you. <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? <laughs> you shan't be getting off lightly for that. <laughs> the truth is... I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. <laughs> Something so simple. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. Oh. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Yeah, no kidding. And you become an adult? Ah, uh, being an adult is boring. Yeah. Starting to feel sorry for Eula. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, e Auntie Eula. The honorary knight will help you out. You sound confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. 
enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Yes. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with <laughs> something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. So, should we be concerned for this adventurer, or are you asking one of us to take the spot? Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. You look... Oh, goodness gracious, kid. You are definitely green around the gills. Hmm. In that case... <laughs> Auntie Eula can help. <laughs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. <laughs> Mercy Eula, we know. Huh? Pay for what? <laughs> it's just how Eula talks. Okay. <laughs> I got yeah. it. I'm ready and willing to learn. <laughs> good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. <laughs> no problem. Why did you give the spot to Eula? <laughs> I want people to know all the good qualities she has. <laughs> I wouldn't say she desperately needs this opportunity. Oh, okay! <laughs> You're so nice! Paimon noticed Eula smiled just now. <laughs> it must have meant a lot to her. Eula is precious. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! <laughs> no kidding, she's like... Like, I don't even think she counts as wearing... Like, what is she even wearing? Oh, now <laughs> Paimon gets it! This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place! Maybe. Um, we were supposed to find supplies. But now Eula's busy with other stuff, and, uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. Yep. What do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Oh my gosh, Paimon. <laughs> Apparently, we will be going to catch up with Albatross a bit later. How about a ghost story to go with the snow? Oh, I would love to hear any stories. Oh, yes. oh. Opening a chest is like a unwrapping a gift. These little things would just hurry up and die. They're not threats. Not even mildly dangerous. <laughs> oh yes, emergency supply drop. But there is nothing in it. Da da da. Like a deep sentence horror story. Okay. Yo, I got three from that one. Hell yeah. Oh, 
shock. Freeze. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. What am I supposed to do about you? You would think ice would do something. But no. Oh no. I'm gonna ruin my gloves. Blitz. Dodge this. Take this. Bellowing thunder. On the bright side. <laughs> On the bright side, it doesn't have that much health. Or it does. Completely distracted and just started mumbling incoherently. And there it goes. I should heal up my characters instead of just leaving them. What's the hurry? Instead of just leaving them with incredibly low health. I'm not in combat. What the hell did you think was attacking me? The snow? Oh, poor thing. You got thawed out just to be eaten. Oh! This is the tree. Strange rustling surrounds us. <laughs> Hear that? I just heard strange noise coming from up the mountain. Uh, could they be in danger? Uh, Hurry! Let's go check it out! I don't think they're in danger. I think they're collecting... <coughs> Ow! Hiccups are the worst! I think they're collecting branches from trees. Ow! Hiccups are the worst! Such a fragile team. I forgot to continue making sure to upgrade everyone's equipment. Actually, I'm terrible when it comes to artifacts. Okay, Kaya's Kaya's fine, but like <laughs> I have characters like Amber. Where it's just like eh, I'm... Oh. <laughs> zeros oh there's like two twenty and then zeros across the board. Also the MC. She's also pretty he has like a no health. Goodness. Hmm. Oh. The sound 
and it's completely stopped! Looks like we lost it. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection! Aren't they? You would think. Oh, guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. But if that's the case, what exactly are we dealing with here? Oh my goodness, there's plenty of animals. I don't think it's that dangerous. I know that voice. Ah, Albatross! <laughs> and I know that voice. What brings you to Dragonspine? Ah, so it was just you. Also, hmm. Right. Also, what I was gonna say is, is Albatross like the reincarnation of the dragon, or something like that? He's very specific. Hmm. Oh, so it was Albedo all along. <laughs> all along. Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Uh, I don't think so. Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. <laughs> the things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, mm -hmm. or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. Mm-hmm. So, what business brought you here? Well, it's a bit of a long story. We actually came to look for you, but then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back <laughs> to that again. Apparently so. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hmm. <laughs> All Clement's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. Well, actually, it's nothing serious. Like, in the slightest. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? We're probably overthinking it. Also, I think he was upset, but just not for the reasons that we're all thinking of currently. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. Mm. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. <laughs> so basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Uh, you tell him about the event. Oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto <laughs> Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? He has a nine yard stare right now. Just completely oblivious. Trying to understand the world. We're not goofing around! <laughs> and Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. <laughs> what about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can oh. gather my thoughts, <laughs> gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Albatross is the best. Raw materials? For what? For what indeed? Paint. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Star silver can be used to make high-quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Hmm. That would be some pretty high-quality paint. Ore can be used to make paint? Hmm. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Makes sense. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver-colored particles. But they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Makes sense. Interesting. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! <laughs> how do you find inspiration? Wow, Paimon, you went from just... I want an infinite, very juice machine eternal berry juice machine to how do you find inspiration ah the workings of paimon's mind 
understand. You want to learn to paint? <laughs> I would love to learn to paint. No, no, not for me. <laughs> the traveler. Paimon wants the traveler to learn how to paint. <laughs> the look on the main's face just says, "You're you're doing it again." During our travels, oh we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. <laughs> so you want me to learn to paint now? Yep. <laughs> Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon. Ah, there's the ulterior motive. Not a bad idea. <laughs> well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Ooh. Sounds great! Yeah, what about Amber, though? Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Favonius, after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo! Okay, you ADHD child. Come on, let's go! <laughs> it's so cold out. No. Jaime wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's go over to Albatross's campsite. Come a little closer. Freeze! Urine for a little shock. <laughs> Dodge this. Cool it. Lightning flash. Mm. You know, lately I've just been like really focused on just any little thing that captures my attention. <gasps> I'm not even really sure why, come to think of it. Uh oh. What's going on? Thieves! It's gotta be! Hmm. Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully! Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? You've been with us this entire time, also, I'm the one with the Moria. It's hard to say their value, but. Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Hmm. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? I don't think so. To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. Hmm. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? I don't think it's that simple. I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. Evidence at hand is stuff is missing and your place has been tossed up a bit. <sighs> Hmm. These appear to be... Footprints? Hmm. Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Alright. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! Yes. From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Oh, it's just to show us the footprints. Yes, yes. I have eyes. Well, I do suppose a more accurate statement will be. Go, go, Baron Bunny! Right. Well. 
come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> the footprints lead up there. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. Take this. <laughs> I I could ice squish. Uh, what the hell? Bug off, you bastard. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Freaking hilly truck. Also, what the hell are you standing on? Take this! Dodge this! You've been a naughty boy. Mm hmm. Let's get warmed up. Oh, right. Food. Goulash. It says warm and toasty. And let's This thing is taking forever to fight. Heal. To be fair though, my dear Reveler is decently strong. Why with this team I always just like ah yes ultimates I could 
near over there. Okay! <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ah, my mood is fuzzy. The things on the snow are so hard to notice. So easy to lose track completely. That's... Huh? The footprints stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. Yellow and timber. Mind me, just catching a fish. Yeah, you nearly got him. <laughs> you don't really fish up in dragon spine. <sighs> you love. I do have love. Sorry. So close, so close. Stay cool. Here, more footprints. Hmm. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now. You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide. Mm -hmm. Let's go in. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. Oh? I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. Huh? This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Got it. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Alright. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. Okay. Two. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. <laughs> you take care too. Of course. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is taking forever. It hasn't been that long, just one cut. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring. Yes, Paimon. Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something like... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time! <laughs> this is a terrible idea, sure. Yay! Let's get started! Uh, I'm, I'm watching. I'm. I'm. Huh. This stuff looks kind of lackluster. Is that because of the impurities like Albedo was talking about? 
Hmm. Still watching the entrance. Hey, this one's not bad. Hmm. All right, this should be enough. Hmm. Some star silver shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Finally, you're back. Yes. Did you find? Not with you? Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Uh, oh. So after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Uh, what a waste. Still, we hmm. won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining. Uh, mining? Yeah, for Star Silver. Look, we got quite a lot. <laughs> it's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny. And others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. <laughs> Star silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Wait, so you don't use star silver for paints? Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. Something on your mind? The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? <laughs> There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to climb on, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Al... Al... Alvedo? You... Who... You okay? You... Are... Are you an Alvedo? Or... Are you... Um... Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Um... Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So let's start by. Help! Help me! Oh, that sounds like the kid. Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? It did sound familiar. It's likely an adventurer in danger. Okay. Hmm. I mean... It's a shame that's not useful. Anywho, let's go save the kid. Where the hell is he? They're in a cage. Who put the child in a cage? An amber. Or, wait, no. The voice was definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! Any? Yeah. Okay, I was wrong. But also, who put the child in a cage? No way! Is that? Hmm? Is that the traveler in Paimon? It's me, Bennett. Benny. Magic. Hi, how? Let's get him out. So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please help me find it. And if we can't, we can just break the cage down. <laughs> You're sturdy, right? Hmm. Wow, so much clutter. Oh, we're not gonna find the key here, surely. Uh oh, we got company. Send this quickly! Let's fuck 
Everybody's health go. Dodge this. Take this. Let's end this quickly. Oh, so they kept the key with them. Huh. We were searching around for nothing. Right, let's get Benny out of the cave. Oh, finally I'm out. Thank you so much. Is Benny the one who was supposed to be? adventurer if only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head oh, no. and then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap oh no Bennett in a cage never saw that coming <laughs> yeah that's never happened before <laughs> <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details just me being unlucky again no he drove off the Fatui we got revenge for you. Yep! Taking them out was child's play! No need to thank us. Ah yes, child would indeed consider it play. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys! Were you not paying attention? We were like five feet from you. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. Don't justify them! So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Right! Benny and Razor, because they're a thing. Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. <laughs> Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, <laughs> I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> so you're being So that guy, Gerald, who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? As much as I love Benny, I think that guy, Gerald, got off a bit lucky. <laughs> if so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? No. Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? <laughs> A few people from the Knights of Avonius stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. <laughs> Knights of Favonius. <sighs> yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Don't be like that, you're great too. You can't directly compare knights and adventurers. Right, right! Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. <laughs> Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. <laughs> really? Mm, I'm sure. For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Yes, we lost Albatross on the way. Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors, too? No. No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Yeah, pretty much immediately. Hmm. <laughs> Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Hmm. All right. Now, before we continue onward... Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a bunch of star silver right over here. What's the hurry? 
right now. Albatross! <laughs> Where are Another you? Sign of albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? Something's happened to him. This is great! Dragon Spine's so fun today! There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. <laughs> you don't say. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? Right. We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? He was a bit off. I wouldn't quite say he didn't feel like it. Although, I guess since he's off, he did indeed not feel like it. Hmm. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <gasps> Albedo? Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you. I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? <laughs> a shapeshifter. Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. <laughs> Any of you got captured, it's the Fatui's fault. No, no. Bennett. This is not because of you. Mm -hmm. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. Huh? What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing. If I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming... Huh? Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Apeshifter? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second! What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? Everything. When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh, I see. Interesting. Interesting? <laughs> you, uh... It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. And very well at that. Impersonating you? To what end? That is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, yes. Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. There's an imposter among us. Of course. It's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. No, I believe that you are Albedo and that there is an imposter. The other guy was kind of a jerk. Well, I wouldn't say he was a jerk, just certainly very, very off. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. Oh my gosh, no. He, he's absolutely clear. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? Or something. I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. Hmm. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. Hey, I see no reason why we shouldn't help you. You... I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. So, naturally... 
I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Favonius. Hmm. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. Of course. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <laughs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. Mm. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Hey. Amber, we're here! What Eula! the... Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> well, technically he did. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. <sighs> well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Uh, but before that... Has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Oh, you need any help? <laughs> Maybe. Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great. Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Hmm. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Hmm. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Okie dokie. Let's go to my camp. <laughs> Gonna teleport. How much is going on? There is Mondstadt off in the distance. Looking beautiful. Actually, these are pine trees. I've been needing pine wood. Hmm. Hmm. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly without reservation. But before that, gotta pick things up. I can help tidy up. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Neat and tidy. Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and that I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. Mm hmm Is one of them your evil twin? <laughs> I am oh. a synthetic human being. Oh. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me 
my mother and teacher. Her name is Ryan Daughter, a researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. Well, hello, left field. A synthetic human? What the? How the heck does that work? My thoughts exactly. When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, hmm. the apex achievement is the creation of human life. Hmm. When you say Conria, do you mean city destroyed by the gods, Conria? I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Fascinating. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? I would say it's chill. Probably eerie. Certainly it's melancholy. Peaceful. Beautiful. Ryan Daughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Okay. Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? Of sorts, I suppose. As sons of Rhine Daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Fascinating. Um, speaking of Durin, Paima remembers that his power was quite special. A strange and innocuous life force, one might say. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. About that, there's something else I couldn't say earlier. Oh, right! Hyman knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. Mm hmm So... It seems that you met my imposter, too. Yeah, it was strange. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Right, well... <laughs> never would have guessed it was a twin. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durant's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Hey, you're a friend. We'll help you bear it. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. I'm not going anywhere. Paimon and I will help with the investigation. Yeah! We're Dragonspine veterans by now! <laughs> but there's something really bad going on. We can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own! That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Exactly. Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Demaeus don't know your... secret. No, 
Yeah, we're the only ones who can help. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right, thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. Hey, I'd like to be on the mountain simply just cause. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees <sighs> me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Mm hmm Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Mm hmm But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. No promises. Hmm. Born of the snow. <laughs> Get a sword from making a snowman. Yep, that's Genshin. Ooh, so many. Are these egg eyes? Anything I could have possibly said or thought is null in void. Wish list. Everything. Yeah. Huh. And this. Alright, so challenges. Interesting. Just in general. Cataclysm. Very interesting. Yeah, for once I'm like actually. For once, I'm actually, like, on time. <laughs> okay. That one looks tomorrow. Three days, six days. Tomorrow. Rhythm of laughter. A lot of these, but not that many different words. Puff and puff. <laughs> and locks in three days, and then this shop. Ah, so this is what we use the emblems for. And this opens in three days. Probably uses emblems as well. I've been needing some of these. Awesome. I've always been wondering about that little thing on it. Next phase opens in three days. Okay, so we know when we're coming back at the very least. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's start with this. Buffy the snowman. <laughs> what was that? Uh, something appeared? Oh, that was this. Okay. Fascinating. And keep an eye out for wild albatross. During Dragon's Battle Special Training, you can obtain various snowman components. After obtaining snowman components, you can use them to make puffy snowmen in the encampment. You can also send these components to your friends or receive such components from them through the event. The types of snowman components include snowman heads, snowman hands, snowman hats, snowman eyes, snowman noses, 
and snowman scarves. You must set a snowman head first before you can set a snowman hat, snowman eyes, scarf, nose, and etc. etc. Complete several puffy snowmen to obtain corresponding rewards. During the event and after it ends, you can even bring snowmen and snowman components that you have obtained in your into your Serena teapot and continue to make puffy snowmen there. Do you want a puffy snowman? How about a ghost story to go with the snow? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Kai would have the best. Anywho, um you apparently have oh <laughs> fight. <clears throat> lures exist within combat training encampments. Lures will start in a state of source cold and will emanate cold air that increases the rate at which sheer cold will accumulate on your characters. It will also give nearby opponents a cryo buff at fixed intervals, increasing their survivability. There are three mechanisms around the lures. When a character is carrying three scarlet quartz, attack these mechanisms, they will activate. Once all three mechanisms are activated, they will change the lure state to heat sort and decrease the accumulation of sheer cold. Scarlet's court may be found near the lures. <clears throat> Activating the challenge after switching lures to heat source mode also provides character with the following buffs. A certain amount of energy restored at fixed intervals when the character lands an attack, yada yada, so on and so forth. Basically good stuff. training. That's this. That's this one. New goddamn. <laughs> 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 Okay, so there's just a set amount. for a little shock.
urine for a little. Get him. I'll race you there. All right, got focused. Okay, now well, let's see. And let's claim our spoils. All right, we got a happiness in general. Now let's get a huff and puff. All right, the challenge is way over here. <laughs> Hiccups are the worst. things up a little. Oh, so sorry. Closer. Blitz. And another challenge done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this one opens in 23 hours. The mountain climbing and then speed thing so just right and this is next because it's right there uh. and we got another snowman head cool it Hmm. Hmm, I'm guessing it has something to do with all of those. So once more. Aim. Find and melt all of the ice pillars in the training area to complete this tracker training mission. Well, you find snowman components. Ah! You can at least one of every component type if you complete all the tracker training sessions.
Wait a minute. Time to fulfill my duty. This should be fun. Take this! Freeze! I would, but I don't feel like it. I claim all of this, and I seek out the next challenge. Way over here. Far away from those enemies that I don't really feel like fighting. Where the hell? I think we're heading this way? Yes. And honestly, this was the perfect team to have. Bet you can't because, with me. especially because of the current team that I was using didn't have any pyro users, <laughs> like, at all. doesn't start until tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? And this is tomorrow. Is this is. And now we have this. And that's tomorrow. Oh, do our last challenge. This last wintry challenge. <sighs> Activate the mechanism to start the special speed. Training. Once the training is started, follow the guides. See the track. Blessings will sometimes appear while you race. Um, Geralt's blessings will enchant your character's jumping power. E iron skin will allow your characters to shatter ice pillars around them. Very interesting. The amount of points you score for the special training is based on the amount of time consumed and the number of insignias of, of adventure and insignias of conquest you obtain during training. Um, some insignias of adventure will be hidden in some parts of the racetrack. Pay close attention to where they are and collect them. As for insignias and conquest, they will only appear at certain times. Get the timing down and grab them. Alright, so... Um, I want to run and gliding. This time I don't care. Hunting and gliding, sure. Let's see. Oh. Oh, how did I do? I have no idea. Is that a good score? Yes, it was. Doesn't do anything until tomorrow. 
Three days, three days. Now, now we have it for the snowman. Let's go make that snowman. Puffy snowman. <laughs> hmm. I like this one. No surprise. How about a ghost story to go with the snow? I like the droopy arms. Hat. I have two scarves, surprisingly. No. The little button nose. Unfortunately, I don't have the components for this. Spare scarf. And it hasn't started asking. Um, maybe it's terminal. 23 hours, so that's tomorrow. And then in three days. Head over to the event shop. I can get one of this. Why not? Interest. I imagine you can get the other two in the shop. Mm hmm. Albatross. This sword was quite literally made for him. Enhance is increased and Mora is decreased by 50%. Oh yeah, I am doing this there and now. Fire's panel. And glow. Okay, so panel. <laughs> Oh yeah, your dramatic AF. Albatross? I do like weapons that are so very specific to characters like this.
I'm just going back and forth. There's three more rounds. Such a slacker. Hmm. Where do we need to go? Well, since we're here on Dragon Spine, or rather, since our adventure is centered around Dragon Spine. Well, let's stick around here. What would be really cool is it. I think this every time, but like, there's no albatross. He's here, of course, but just not in a way that we can see him. Anyway, I need six of these. not available Monday Thursday and Sunday today is Saturday so tomorrow <laughs> and then I need a few more chaos cores I need two more chaos cores and it's from sugar it's an amount of asteroids yeah. <laughs> the amount of incomprehensible contact content has increased once more. Oh, whatever. You've helped him out, and that's what matters. <laughs> this is sort of what I mean. He's technically here. He's pretty much almost always here. And I, I, I absolutely love the characters, like when you go over to the profile, like they have their stories, they have their little voices. I didn't know you were such a slacker. What's wrong? Can't handle the cold? How about a ghost story to go with the snow? A bunch of little stuff like that, and I absolutely adore that. I just sort of wish that the characters would... Be hanging out wherever they are normally hanging out. Like, how cool would it be to just see Albedo just like uh, standing by his alchemy table or just like gazing into whatever the hell this thing is? I don't have to say anything, um, substantial. It would just be really cool to see like the characters that we travel with all the time. Just see them up and about. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Anywho, <laughs> my darlings. I'm curious if this is fish. I'll fight the stupid fish. Dodge this. Once more. I remember when the stupid fish would just appear if you were like anywhere in the vicinity. Like you didn't have to. You didn't select the thing. You just had to appear in the thing. Like coveting the shapes of the living. Yada yada yada. Pure water can take on many forms. In this way, shall water deliver your punishment. Okay, but like that cliff over there. 
Like, when I first stumbled across the fish, and one of the reasons why I hate her so much, and continuously call her the stupid fish, even though I actually think it's a pretty decent character. Because I, I do really think that she's a decent character. I just hate the goddamn stupid fish. Dodge this! Freeze! Come a little closer. Entirely because when I first discovered her, I had been just like casually exploring and I saw a cliff and I saw water down below. So I was like, great, I'll leap off of the cliff. You know, as all adventurers are prone to doing. So I go flying over the edge of the cliff. Just landing in the water, and then suddenly, boss music. And I'm just like, I'm absolutely, entirely just baffled at what the hell's happening. And then, like, I'm like, okay. Because, of course, the stamina bar is, like, a fifth of what it is. It was like there was really genuinely high risk of just like drowning. Why do they always go for me, freaking bastards? Freeze. Dodge this. I thought that fricker was dead. Let's see what happens when you lose your foothold. Oh my goodness. Anywho. So I'm landing like in this general vicinity. So it's like a cliff. Uh, was it this general vicinity? No, it was over here. Like by that tree ish. Yeah, because I had like come over and I just like climbed over and I just like plopped into the water. I was like, ah, yes, this is perfect. This is fine. It was not fine. Cool it. Oh, so so. Oh no, I'm gonna ruin my gloves. You're in for a little shock. As long as rain falls and rivers flow, water will exist forever. Cool story, fish. But yeah, I had like just leaped off a cliff with reckless abandon, as I am prone to doing. Oh boy. And I was just like, I. What's the hurry? <laughs> I played this game very differently in the be in the beginning. <laughs> Pinkups are the absolute first. No. Like that, I never would have, like, just jumped off a cliff. With the confidence that I had, hell. Like, when I was first exploring, I didn't even need teleport waypoints. Like, oh sure, they were there, and they existed. I was just a stubborn fool who absolutely refused to, to use them at every possible opportunity. So, when I got myself into a very difficult spot of nearly drowning and also nearly and getting just like horribly attacked by that stupid fish. 
I had. All right, focusing there for a second. But I just had an abysmal time. Especially. Oh my goodness. Did I even have. Lisa? I mean, I probably would have had Lisa by then. Yeah, no, I had Lisa. It's just like. You have to realize this team would have been so. Like, well, not this team. OG team. We're just so. Yeah. wasn't at all helped by the fact that I just sort of loved to um I just loved to do as many quests as I could but then I had absolutely no interest in then upgrading my characters like how everyone like okay these days don't count but like how everyone literally everyone is at least level 50 and then uh, level 50 and um, ascended. Yeah. Like, it, it didn't used to be like that. I used to just sort of look at the ascension thing and uh, the leveling up thing. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I didn't even fully comprehend the whole um, experience how you're supposed to experience, so I try to level up the characters, like you would in basically any other game, which is by fighting a whole bunch of enemies over and over and over again. So I had characters that were all like level 20, like max, and they were just so dangerous at the time. Oh my goodness. And I was so goddamn stingy with like um bases. I I need at least two. I need two for I need four. I think this should be enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I had like... <laughs> I was so stubborn when I had first started playing this game. In the reflection of the water, I see the ascension of the morning star. <laughs> stubborn. Let's see. 90, 90... So yeah, I just need to level her up to 90, and I only have 9. Ugh. Yeah, that's not that's not getting her anywhere. Doesn't even get her one level. Anywho, I'll deal with more of that stuff uh, <laughs> in, in between. <laughs> yeah. Since then, I very much... Next phase is in three days, so... So, my darlings! <laughs> the next time I shall see you... ...is in three days. <laughs> ah, look at these folks. Also, we have... We have our leading sir. <sighs> Aether's... Or Lumin could be the main character. No. They say that, but they don't mean it. Aether is the main character. Aether is the one. He's the technical main character. Still, I'll main Lumain. I will always be. I will always main Lumain. <laughs> Anywho. I'll catch you, darlings. In three days. Hmm. Anyway, 
it's a bit late. But happy Thanksgiving. And quite a bit early. This place is pretty dead. <laughs> By which I mean, there's nothing to kill. <laughs> and to that, a very early Merry Christmas. Or if you want to be generic, happy holidays. <laughs> it's been getting busy. I'll catch you, darlings, later. Hmm.